Shalom, hunting of all praises to Yahweh, Bashim El Bashai, the double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone that taught us his word. I just want to talk about, you know, as always, you know, the Middle East and World War Three. And I came across this article about how Iran and Russia wanted to uh they're closing this this deal to where they can, you know, come together, you know, to where they'll be in cooperation with with each other they're calling it a, a comprehensive cooperation uh and that's just more prophecy you know coming to pass about how you know russia is going to be a guard unto iran you know when when israel and the u.s invade iran you know russia is going to come to their defense therefore kicking off you know world war three but i got this article out of uh Tasnim News Agency or Taz TasnimNews.com entitled Iran Russia Discuss Long Term Deal on Comprehensive uh, Cooperation uh, entitled no, or dated November sixteenth, twenty twenty one. The presidents of Iran and Russia weighed plans to finalize a comprehensive agreement on long long term cooperation and broaden the regional and international collaboration between the two countries. Uh, in a telephone conversation on Tuesday, Iranian President Ibrahim uh, Raisi and his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin highlighted the common stance of Tehran and Moscow on uh, bilateral, regional, and international issues, stressing the need to finalize the comprehensive agreement on long-term cooperation between, between the two nations. Uh, we are prepared to finalize the comprehensive document on long-term long cooperation to carry out the process of promotion of relations and cooperation between the two countries rapidly, Razi said, uh, highlighting the common views and synergy between Tehran and Moscow on many international subjects, the Iranian president said the two countries share stance on the fight against unilateralism and, and on strengthening multilateralism. He also stressed the need for mutual cooperation in the region, adding, we believe that the continued presence of outsiders in Syria is illegal and runs counter to the will of the Syrian nation and government because it threatens stability and security of that country. Uh, the development of, uh, in Afghanistan, Raisi said, we deem the presence of Daesh or ISIS in Afghanistan dangerous for the region and that country so that we must be vigilant in the face of the threats of such a plot. Uh, skipping down, he also hailed Russia for supporting Iran's nuclear rights and for stressing the need for the termination of all sanctions against Tehran. Uh, Razi's emphasized that Tehran is quite serious in the Vienna negotiations on the revival of the 2015 nuclear deal and also serious in protecting the rights of the Iranian nation in the efforts to have the sanctions lifted. Uh, Razi also expressed gratitude to Russia for backing Iran's membership in the Shanghai Cooperation Organization and for supplying coronavirus vaccines to Iran. Uh, for his part, Putin highlighted the common stance and the convergence of Moscow and Tehran on many issues, voiced support for Tehran's proposals for a new deal on long-term cooperation and said, Russia is resolved to finalize and implement the agreement immediately. Uh, Putin reiterated Russia's support uh, for the nuclear rights of Iran, of, an, of the Iranian nation, hoping that the JCPOA parties, which show the necessary political 
will in the next round of negotiations to find a way out of the current circumstances. But yeah, they don't really go in depth of what this agreement entails. They just call it a, uh, a co comprehensive cooperation. So if you look those words up, uh, the etymology, a comprehensive containing much and comparatively small limits uh, together to unite, include, comprehend, perceive, with, together, completely. So yeah, it's all about the uniting or unification of Iran and Russia. Look at that word cooperation. Uh, the act of working together to one end. Uh, to work together with together. So whatever details are in this, this deal, you know, they're going to be together. <laughs> it's, it's them. It's those two, you know. And Russia's going to be that guard unto them. Ultimately, you know, they're going to set off those, these nuclear missiles as talked about in the scripture. Um, the second Ezra chapter 16 and 1. Woe be unto Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Be well, your children. Be sorry for your destruction is at hand. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Yeah, the scriptures say, you know, it's the most highest determination to gather these nations in the Middle East. You know, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, you know. Uh, verse 8, the mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? The fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? Uh, he shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder in his presence. You know. uh, the earth quaketh, and the foundations thereof, the sea riseth up, the waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also, before the Lord, and before the glory of his power. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp, they shall not miss, they shall not miss, when they begin to be shot to the ends of the world. So yeah, you know, these, these arrows, the scripture's talking about, the destruction, it's talking about that nuclear destruction, the fire. You know, you can't shoot a regular arrow across the ends of the world, you know. Let's talk about those ICBM nuclear missiles, man. Being shot off. So yeah, we're, we're just one step closer, man. The, the, the Iranians and the Russians, they're coming together. You know, they're making a deal. It's a comprehensive cooperation, you know. And Russia's going to be that guard unto them. Uh, next scripture is uh, Revelation 11 and 12. And I heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. Yeah, they were in the midst of all that. That's when Yahweh Shai is going to come back. You know, with the chariots. And that's ultimately that's when the elect is going to be delivered in those chariots. In the same hour, there was a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell. And, there, and in the earthquake were slain men 7,000, and the remnant were frightened and gave glory uh, to the power of heaven. Yeah, the great earthquake, the missiles hitting down on America, the tenth part of the city fell. You know, all of America is going to be destroyed. Slain 7,000. Men slain, yeah, a complete number of men. Any, everybody who's standing on the, so the soil of America is gonna, you know, it's gonna perish in those missiles. Uh, the second woe was passed, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Uh, woe represents destruction. You know, the two woes that passed, World War One and World War Two, they're passed, and that third woe, third world war, cometh quickly. You know. We're seeing that now with all the prophecies and all the news that's being put out. You know, about 
Israel, you know, keep your eye on Israel, Iran, and Russia, you know, and keep an eye out for that, that mark of the beast, that karagma, you know, that's going to push on us. There's a few more prophecies left, but yeah, I just wanted to bring out this, this article and how they're making a deal now to, with that comprehensive cooperation, they're, cause they're coming together, you know, and they're finalizing it. Yeah, but with that, you know, Shalom.